separating uh, the value they have uh, to the family. Today, we'd like to share with you what our children uh, have added to our family and the reason we chose the name Geffen Allen for our new baby. In fact, it's very simple. The names of our five children are inspired by five different components of the Beit HaMikdash, of the Holy Temple in Jerusalem. Lavi, Shlomo, our first son, is the building force of our family. Lavi, in the Bible, is a lion who is constantly evolving. Who are Lavi? And this is exactly what we aim to be in constant improvement. And this is exactly what we aim to be as a family, a family in motion, a family in constant improvement. La vie Shlomo, because just as King Shlomo, King Solomon initiated the construction of the temple, our La vie Shlomo has initiated the construction of our temple, our family. La vie Shlomo is the building force of our home. Now, to build a home, you cannot just use any land. You need fertile land, a fertile soil on which you start to cultivate the values of the family. Kerem, as his name suggests, is the soil of values on which we started to cultivate the values of our family. Courage, long-term, integrity, creativity, wisdom, discipline, and most importantly, emuna, faith in the future. So four years ago, empowered with the building force um, and a solid ground of values Kerem, we were ready to absorb and hopefully disseminate a new source of energy, a new light. That light is Shaked, the one who is currently working. <laughs> um, in the temple, Shaked refers to the light of the menorah, such as the almond-shaped branches of the menorah that bring light into the temple, Shaked came to add an incredible amount of energy and light into the family. Then, Elon came. We are already a family uh, temple, La Vishlomo, built on a solid ground of values, Kerem, illuminated by uh, Shaked, the light of the menorah. So the question was, what more could we ask for? Well, maybe a long-term impact. We hope that our family might endure well into the future, like a tree makes it through generations. Elon, that's the signification of the name in Hebrew, is the tree. Elon represents the trees uh, that surround the Beit HaMikdash in Jerusalem for 2,000 years. Elon represents the long term, which we combine with Yehuda, Elon Yehuda, which with the optimism and the courage that describes the tribe of Judah. And here we are today. Here we are today first to say thank you. We are grateful to Lai, grateful to Akadosh Baruch grateful to all of you, our amazing friends and family. You know, in the uh, liturgy, thanksgiving, gratitude, is expressed through a very special prayer, the Hallel. The Hallel is recited on uh, Rosh Chodesh, the first of the month, like today, on a few festivals, and also on Yom Ha'atzmaut, on the Israeli Independence Day, to express our gratitude for coming back to the land of Israel after 2,000 years of exile. As our daughter was born on the 75th birthday of the State of Israel, we couldn't think, it was very simple, we couldn't think about a more appropriate second name than Halel for her. As for her first name, Gefen, it fits perfectly into our family's history. Look, we already had a family temple, La Vishlomo, built on a solid ground of values, Kerem, illuminated by the light of the menorah, Shaked, and inspired by the long-term Elon. Now, with Gefen, we have the fifth component that you could find in the Beit HaMikdash. Not Geffen, the beverage that we drink in order to sanctify <laughs> special times of the year. No, no. No, there was something else. The Geffen Azahav. This golden vine of grapes that you could find at the entrance of the sanctuary above the Echad. 
as a sign of innovation and personal growth. Back then, by the way, every member of the community, you, you and me, could actually bring grapes uh, to the temple for your own innovation, personal growth, and that of the entire community. And this is exactly what we wish for uh, today. We hope that Giffen will bring to herself and to all of us the capability to innovate ourselves every single day to grow a little more every single day. Tadaba, Mazel Tov. Yeah, I know.